tank oil sit in the bottom of the tanks and the hot oil or the steam runs to them and then they, they warm the contents of the tank out, out in the field. And, and we provide tank oils in a wide variety of sizes and configurations. And we can do those in bare coil or we can do those in fin coil. And bare coils are a little simpler. Uh, they're, they're pretty easy to build, they're really fast to build. Um, they're pretty simple to design and pretty simple to install. The, the, the fin coils are a little more complex. They do have what we call helical coils on them. There, there are other competitors out there that do longitudinal fins where they run the full length of the tube. Uh, the problem with those is that they, they can build up what they call coking, where product can sit on those and it's hard to get it off. It'll actually build up on those fins. They act like shelves for any uh, sediments and things to build up on. Our helicoils are vertical coils on the fin, so everything kind of passes right through and can fall out through those. So it's a better design and it's got more, more surface area, you know, up to 12 times more surface area with that type of a, a fin than a traditional fin. So yeah, when our customers call us, if they have a preference, we can build either one for them. If they're asking us for our preference, we'll look at the product type, you know, how fouling is it? Um, how much heat is needed. You know, if there's not a lot of heat needed, they're just trying to warm a tank to 100 degrees in an ambient area of 30 degrees, um, bare coils is probably sufficient. We we'll try to keep it simple, keep it low cost um, and easy to install. If they need something a little more robust, a lot more BTUs needed you know, per hour, um, high heating duties, those types of things, we'll usually try to lean them towards the fin uh, coils. And then the coils can be designed in banks and and, and they can have anywhere from four to six to eight to up to 14. They just had a recent project with 14 coils and banks. And uh, we do those in steam and in hot oil. Steam coils will generally have a header at the top. Steam will come in and it'll go out through all the pipes in that coil and turn around at the U-bend at the other end and come back and condensate out through another header. But the hot oil style, they usually come in through one pipe and it's more of a serpentine fashion. It'll zigzag back and forth through that coil multiple times and then come out the same end. And then normally if those are sitting in the bottom of the tank, they'll, they'll be connected in parallel. So they'll feed all those at the same time. So they're all at the same temperature uniformly throughout the tank. We'll work with our customers to, to design those. That's one of the things that we do that you know the average tank builder may not. Uh, and that's why we work with so many tank builders on our tank coils, because we have that expertise. We've got the software, we've got the experience where we can calculate the BTU loads to either keep a tank at a maintained temperature or to, for heat up duties and for transfer duties. And then we can determine how many coils are needed, you know, what the surface area is, and the best configuration to lay those out. And we'll share that with the customer. We can create a data sheet for that. We can create a layout drawing that shows where the coils should go in the tank. We provide all of that as just part of our, our service. Our coils can be built with a variety of materials of construction. Carbon steel is kind of the old standby. Uh, it's been used in a lot of applications, especially in the refining and the terminal industries for years. But with the, the push now for more corrosive resistant equipment, especially with the biofuels blending that's coming into, into pass now, uh, 316 stainless is something that we work in very routinely and uh, build coils in. So if somebody needs equipment, whether it's uh, tank coils, bayonet heaters, heat exchangers, anything of that nature, um, with our association with our parent company, Enerquip, we can build everything out of stainless steel as well. And we've got expertise in that area. Lead times on tank coils are very competitive. Uh, we even stock some standard sizes in Oklahoma for immediate shipment. So we always have some on hand. Uh, but if a customer has a, a real urgent need, because they are fairly uh, easy for us to build compared to our large heating systems, uh, we can turn those around pretty quickly too in just a few weeks.